Welcome back. We're devoting all of tonight's show to another presidential candidate, Gary Johnson, former governor of New Mexico. My last guest took him on skeptically from the right. My next guest, historian Thaddeus Russell, attacks him from the left. So take it away. I heard a remarkable thing on Fox News the other night. Uh, a politician actually um, mentioned a, a study done about the Portugal drug decriminalization policy. Ten years, for ten years, all drugs in Portugal have been decriminalized since 2001. And they found that across the board, all the harmful effects of drugs have decreased since that policy was enacted. And, and that politician th was? That politician was Gary Johnson. Um, <laughs> On Sean Hannity's show. I think. Uh, it was on Sean Hannity's show. But then I looked at Gary Johnson's position on drugs, and actually, as radical as Republicans might think he is, I think he's not radical enough. Yeah, we didn't really explain it. You propose legalizing marijuana, and that's it. None of, not well, the other drugs. Well, I think that uh, if we legalize marijuana, we will take giant steps forward toward rational drug policy with regard to the rest of the drugs. Uh, if we legalized all drugs tomorrow, the world would be a better planet. But uh, I, I, have to, I have to tell you, I'm not advocating that. What's the intellectual logic behind it? Do we own our own bodies, whether that, that we're you, adults that, or that, not? That you take this there on that intellectual argument, uh, but that we take the step to legalize marijuana, we do that, we understand that then we, we come to recognize that the sky isn't going to fall, that things are actually better as a result of, of doing that. And then we move on and uh, we actually start looking at uh, the rest of the drugs uh, from a harm reduction standpoint, uh, reducing death, disease, crime, corruption. Portugal decriminalized all drugs 10 years ago, and they've shown a 50% reduction in heroin use over the last 10 years. I mean, that kind of flies in the face of logic, but that's what's happened. So why don't you want to decriminalize all drugs? If you're going to start off with the whole enchilada, uh, I, don't, I don't see it happening. Oh, well, I think that is the problem. I mean, I think this, there's two problems that Gary Johnson faces here, and they're, com they're coming together. He's the one who cited this Portugal study, 10 years of history, that shows that decriminalizing all drugs does great wonders for society. Unfortunately, he's running within the Republican Party, which is a majority of Christian conservatives, and he knows that he simply can't win the primary if he pushes that far on this issue. I mean, can you blame him? What do you want? Look at the heat he's already taken from Republicans from, for the mild stance he's taken, and here he is on that show with Sean Hannity. The idea that America would legalize or, or, or go down this road is repugnant to me because I don't think government should have that role in, in the destruct the moral destruction of a human soul, which is and which Sean, is I want which you. is predictable. Yes, I don't want our kids criminalized. The moral destruction of the human soul. You want him to push that in the Republican primary? <laughs> <laughs> well, some people think that's what the Republicans are doing already, but um... <laughs> cheap laugh. Uh, Let's yeah. move on to one more subject. From your CPAC speech, speaking of realistic, you said the only party that's going to save this country is the Republican Party. You object to that. I think he should leave the Republican Party. I think he should either run as an independent or as Governor Johnson. So I would just say I've been treated really well by the Republican Party my entire career, and I, I am continued to be treated well by the Republican Party. I see the Republican Party as the only party that gets us, gets us out from under what is going to be a financial collapse. Again, I applaud you, and I'm frustrated by you. <laughs> Let's move on to the war on terror. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Governor Johnson, what's your position on Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya? Uh, I was opposed to Iraq from the get-go. Uh, I didn't see a military threat from Iraq. I thought we had... And now, so what should we do? Right now, get out of Iraq. Tomorrow. Uh, Afghanistan. I thought Afghanistan was uh, initially totally warranted. We were attacked. We attacked back. Uh, and after six months of being in Afghanistan, we'd wiped out Al-Qaeda. That was ten years ago. We're building roads, schools, bridges, highways, and hospitals in Iraq and Afghanistan, and we're borrowing and printing money to the tune of 43 cents out of every dollar to do that. Let's get out of Iraq and Afghanistan tomorrow. And for all, 
for all of the debate and the discussion that we would have about uh, problems associated with doing that, I, I would argue that we'll have that same debate and that same discussion 25 years from now if that's when we finally decide to get out. Hallelujah. <laughs> but I would say that a vast majority of the Republican Party is not only Christian conservative, but also pro-war. And so I think this man, if he continues to say these things, and I hope he does, will simply die in that party. So I think that what you're saying echoes what a lot of people believe about the Republican Party. You're, you're, you're dead on with what it is that you're saying about the Republican Party. I'm going to give Republicans an opportunity to check off my name as their spokesperson. And what does that say to you and the rest of the world if Republicans actually nominate me? And, but, and that's Pigs where I'm... Is what I would say. <laughs> and maybe that ends up to be the case. But I'm actually putting myself out there to put that very question to the test. Thaddeus Russell, thank you very much. Next, Governor Johnson, if he wins the Republican nomination, will have to debate President Obama. What would that be like? Well, let's find out. The president has been gracious enough to join us here in the studio tonight. He sure looks like President Obama. Sounds like him, too. Uh, so you want to uh, uh, legalize drugs, huh? So, Governor, don't answer yet. They will debate next. Yeah.